Happy Saturday. I need to pause this so I don't get copyrighted. This is all stained up. I need to go bleach it and make breakfast. I literally break everything I touch. This also needs its weekly reorganization. But you guys would be so proud. I've kept up with all my laundry, so there's nothing in the corner today. You might be like, where's your family? My dad is playing volleyball with his friends and my mom's at a work conference. Ali's sleeping, but Papa's here. And honestly, justice for Papa because he doesn't get enough screen time. And he watches all the videos, right Papa? Most of the time. Here is my breakfast. I had to come in here because the lighting is really yellow in the kitchen, but I tried to fry eggs and as usual, they turned out looking like scrambled eggs because I'm not very good at it, but it's okay. Papa's watching wrestling. So that's what you hear in the background. It's been like 30 minutes since I last spoke with you and I'm about to get myself ready for the day. I went on my phone for a little and then I cut myself off because I spent so much time yesterday on TikTok. I literally deleted hours of time and I put my phone away and I was like, what did I gain from this? Literally, maybe I learned a couple things, but I gained nothing. But one thing that I do have to know is that it drives me mad when people use these clips in their hair when they're doing a get ready with me and they go like this get ready with me for jail. Like swear I do the most random things, but I want to, I just pulled my hair out, take their clips, go to where they are, take their clips and force them to actually pull the hair out of their face because this does nothing. It's so infuriating. At the end of the day, it's really not that deep. It doesn't affect me at all, but it just really pains me. Anyway, today, like I said, is Saturday. And as I was saying, I had the laziest day yesterday. I was on my phone so much and I just did not do anything productive well i did but it just felt like i didn't it was probably a good thing for me because i rarely have those days but it was definitely the epitome of a lazy day and there was more i wanted to get done but i didn't do it because i was just so on my phone sucked into social media so today i am going to try to stay off of my phone as much as possible and get as much done as possible as of now my only plans are to go to the soccer game later our soccer team made it to state championships and it's a home game so it's really exciting that the game's at home i'm gonna go i have a lot of friends on the soccer team and watch them play tonight i got these pretty flowers these tulips at trader joe's and they're making me so happy another thing i realized yesterday is that when i actually get ready for the day i get so much more done because i didn't get myself ready for the day yesterday I didn't like i said do much and it just makes a world of a difference when i actually get up and get myself ready i cannot blend this for the life of me me and my friends grace and yasmin are going down to san diego and we're gonna go see san diego state and just have ourselves a little girls day shopping getting food pictures you know the whole nine so i'm really excited for that i have a video to edit that i want to post tomorrow morning and i have literally wasted so much time yesterday i had all day to do it and i barely worked on it so i'm gonna try to get some of that done right now before i leave because i have some errands to run i need to go to the cvs inside target to get my prescription i'm 18 now so i pick up my own prescriptions and i have some random things to pick up there and i have to do my math homework that was due on thursday and it's saturday oh there's a siren I always stop and pray every time I hear one. I just hope everyone's okay. I got my nails done on Thursday too. I did a whole TikTok afternoon in my life in photos if you want to see that. What is going on with this makeup? This is the problem with doing Get Ready With Me is that I'm not close enough to the camera to be able to, to, be able to see myself. And if I look like this, it's so clear that I'm looking in the viewfinder and not the lens. Very um, niche problem to have. So CVS, Target, work on editing. I need to do the math homework that was due on Thursday. What I was going to say is that senioritis is really just hitting me hard. I am not done at all with living at home and seeing my family and being so close to my favorite people and my best friends and literally everyone that I know and love, but this work, this is the week that I really realized I'm so done with this. It's so much busy work and I don't care about, I mean, I care, but my level of caring in terms of schoolwork is just plummeting because second semester senior year i've already gone into colleges things like that and i'm going to tour college with my mom next weekend so i'm gonna do a pack with me i'll vlog that whole weekend stay tuned for more context if you missed my q a video go watch that for a college update anyway by the time i'm done with all that it'll probably be time for the soccer game or socialization before the soccer game whatever it is but i really want to knock out as much of that video as i can so i can just have fun tomorrow and enjoy the san diego day and we are officially 91 days out from graduation 
that blows my mind. It just does not feel real. I keep saying this, but I really don't think it's gonna hit me until the actual day of graduation. I really wanted to go see that Jesus Revolution movie because I've seen so many people talking about it and I've had friends see it and they say it's so good. And there was a showing tonight and I was gonna go with my family, but then they announced that the soccer game was gonna be at home. And so I'm gonna try to see it another day this week because I've just heard so many good things about it. And me and Matt were also gonna go see it and that just fell through. But at some point I really do wanna go see it. Okay, mascara and makeup is done. I've been using this uh, setting spray from Cali Ray and I like it. I've really been trying to level up my makeup and skincare and hair care game this year. So I have all my you know, products and favorite things set before I go to college. Also, I saw this girl when I was on my hour long TikTok spree yesterday, this girl came up on my For You page who is on the US speech and debate team and she talked about how she learned to, I'm even struggling with it right now, learn to fizzle out filler words from her vocabulary and she never said like and she never said um and it was really inspirational because I speak with so many filler words. So that's another thing I'm working on. I need to write down all the things I'm working on because there's always something. I'm gonna get dressed and then edit, edit, edit as much as I can. Here is the outfit. I was gonna wear leggings, but they're not clean. I really need to stop procrastinating and get to work. It's kind of giving prisoner, but oh well. Anyway, I was saying I need to stop procrastinating and get to work because I want to go also to the car wash or just vacuum out my car here. So I'm gonna drive tomorrow to San Diego. It's time. Snap out of a stop day dreaming. You gotta work, work, you gotta run, run tomorrow. So keep your side of the road. Hello, update. It's way later, and I really need to wrap this up so I can go on my errands. Leave us here. Look at her, she's so cute. Anyway, I had to stop and take a break a little bit ago because my neighbor's dog got out again. This dog, let me tell you a story. So basically, a couple weeks ago, Matt was leaving my house and I walked him out to his car and I got in his car and he was gonna drive me back around to my house. And I saw something and I was like, wait, stop, what is that? Because I thought it was a coyote. No, it was a husky named Lisa. So I get out of the car and I try to go see if she's friendly, what's going on. And as I get closer to her, she kind of starts moving away from me. Matt gets out of his car too. And we're both trying to approach the dog. And all of a sudden when Matt went after her, she just started running. And I was like, what do I do? Because he went sprinting after her. And so I went back to his car, turned off his car, got his keys. And I was going to go to the owner's house because I called my mom and she was like, oh, that such and so's dog. It's been getting out all the time and this was within the 11 o'clock hour so matt goes running after the dog i am on the phone with my mom and i go back down the street to try to find him and i can't find matt or the dog anywhere and i'm shouting their names and then finally he's coming running back and he was like i lost her i can give up her she went back pine on the trail and so we're like what do we do except go to the owner obviously so we go to the owner and knock on the door and a woman answers and she had just no care in the world for this dog it was so sad she was like oh lisa the hus the husky? Hold on. Hello? Hello, what happened with Lisa? I'm literally telling the vlog right now. Anyway, I went to the owner's house and they didn't give a, they basically didn't have a care in the world for the dog. Anyway, this happened again with my mom last week and again with another one of our neighbors. But today I got a text, I was working, I got a text from my neighbor, Jennifer. She was on a run and she texted me something about Lisa being out. She said, hi, are you home? I can't find Le or I found Lisa, but I can't get her to follow me home. LOL. I just need a leash. Sis won't move. There she is. Look at her. Poor thing. They just let Lisa out on the loose. They just like get. They and apparently, get this. They left her at the dog park on purpose. Yeah. Yes, they're abandoning their dog. And so I just want to scream and yell at these people because it's just like, come on, stop neglecting your animal. Apparently she's up for adoption or something too. I don't know. She just keeps getting out. It's not a one or two time kind of thing. It's a daily thing. It's so sad. It's just ridiculous, honestly. It's terrible. So like, why get a dog if you don't want it? Okay, I'll keep you updated, okay. 
so you get the gist of that story i don't know and i don't know the situation either but i just feel bad for the dog when i knocked on the door she said oh well maybe she'll come back and it was at nighttime and it was raining and literally just no care so that dented my time frame a little bit i was out there for like a half hour with my neighbors trying to figure out what to do with lisa i'm gonna eat lunch and then go look at reba I was also watching Tara Michelle's vlog. This is what I'm having for lunch. I made it last night for dinner and I had leftovers. So it's chicken sausage, Reba's losing it, zucchini and brown rice and quinoa pasta all from Trader Joe's and then red sauce. I just heated this in the microwave, it's really hot. And I love Parmesan cheese, so I load it up. And this is a late lunch because, oh, it just came out in the biggest chunk. Oh, so it's doing it on the wrong side. Duh. This is my late lunch. Gorge. I will also be wearing my floaties out to the pharmacy because I'm still in game. Bon appetit. I just left Target. There was this poor lady in front of me and she had kids and she couldn't get her red card figured out and I felt really bad for her. So it took a long time. Anyway, I got three things and my prescription first is these multivitamins that I take. I'm almost all out. Razor blades. I'm pretty sure they have these uh, for a lower price at TJ Maxx. So I want to check there next time. And these leather wipes for my car. I was using the spray for a really long time and I like it, but it's either all out or really close to that. And these I feel like will be easier for on the go. Okay. We're on our way to the soccer game. I went we to can't bed this off. at 6 last night, 6 a.m. So me and my friends were playing poker. And I only got second. I stayed up all the time just for 10 bucks. And then at 12 p.m., once they all left, I went back to bed until 4. And now I don't, my concept of time doesn't work anymore. Like, I feel like I'm in a dream. This isn't even real. You're not real. You're not real. He's not real. He's a, he's a, what is it? You he's are. a phantom. He's a holograph. We'll keep you updated. Bye. <laughs> I need to get in the shower. I oiled my hair last night. Also my pajama pants. <laughs> but it's so crusty. Hello, update. I showered, blow dried my hair, and finished my makeup. And I'm running late. But it's okay because, oops. Yazzie is too. I also put my sheets in the washer anyway I grabbed all these out of my closet because i don't know what i want to wear i don't know like these textures don't match but i really like the purple because it matches grace to the rescue she has a black jacket for me to borrow this is from princess polly and so is the purse and then shoes are converse hey vlog i literally just spent so much time trying to figure out how to start this because you have to like press some button and then rotate the camera to get to start and i just could not figure it out anyways we are at starbucks Katie and Yazzie went in to get the Starbucks because I can't walk with a Starbucks drink in my hand and crutches. And I also don't have my boot on because I'm sitting in the car for like an hour and 15 minutes. My hair is like not giving. I just used the Whey Detox Shampoo last night. Um, So if my hair is like looking really good, that's why. Just kidding, my hair looks not good. I hate going to bed with my hair wet because it always just dries weird. But yeah, I'm just chilling here right now, awaiting their arrival into the car from Starbucks. They're back. Okay, we've arrived to our first destination. It's 12.39, yeah. And we're getting she tacos it. from this place called the Taco Stand. I've never been here, but Grace researched for us. We'll see. <laughs> we have gotten ourselves into a bit of a situation <laughs> a here. Bit of a Go ahead. So we're driving, like, down in San Diego. Like, we, we're looking at San Diego State University. Like, in SDSU, and okay. we're driving, oh, and we hear a hissing coming from the tires. <laughs> And we're like, this has to be a tire pressure issue. So we oh, get out and there's a whole bubble in the tire. So now we find this random tire I'm place and we're trying to get our tire replaced. That is Katie. Wait, she needs to explain the noise too. Just we just want it to be basic. We just wanted to go shopping. Tell them about the noise until tomorrow. tomorrow. So we need to find another place. On a happy note, my fit check. Pants from Brittany Melville. <laughs> Shoes are the Chelsea Docks in the kids size. And then the shirt is from Free People. Should we go to Pet Boys? This place looks legit. Sure. Pet sure. Boys? Four we're minutes away. So we're attempting to find a place. All right. Let's are we go. feeling? We're feeling a little stressed, but this is an oh, adventure. The we'll update you when we come back. We've made it to Pet Boys. They're helping us. And they're saving our lives because the first place we went to did not help whatsoever. So Pet out. Boys for the win. I mean, they haven't, they they haven't done the service yet, but they're winning right now. They're winning in my heart, at least. I pray that this does not take a while. I've got things to do places to be and people to see. What do you it's funny. Update, Margo the Mazda is in the car shop across the street and we're trying to order an Uber right now. Is it now working? So we can go shop because this guy has to get the tires. Women, I know we so are. He has to get the tires and then put them on the car and switch. It's just, he said it's gonna take over two hours. So we're making the best of it. We're gonna take an Uber to a mall so we can go shopping. How are we feeling? I'm tired. Ready to take on the world and shop. I'll trade my pillow for your company. 
You know I'd find a window of opportunity to paint a rainbow of silk and call it serendipity. <laughs> Update. We are in the McDonald's parking lot. We just got McFlurries. Deep and briefing. We're in Margo. We're in Margo. We're back. You guys, we had the best dinner of our entire life. Guys, it was so good. The food got there. Eight minutes exactly, I think. We ate the pasta and the pizza, the bread, and Down finished there. our drinks. It was insane. Anyway, Lady asked for my ID, even though it was non alcoholic. So now we're ending the day with our Parmesan. sweet treat. Mm -hmm. Because everyone needs a sweet treat. I got this hat at Forever 21. Wait, it's, oh, I thought my phone was ringing. I got this hat at Forever 21. Someone's and Grace got... Oh, thank God this person is leaving there. The oh, light bless. is so harsh. I got cowgirl boots. Grace got cowgirl boots in this purse for the Taylor Swift concert that we're going to in August. No, we're so. also it's going not to for Taylor, but like... What? I got them because I wanted them. Wait, I'm going to oh. wear for outfit. No, but I let you believe that so you think they're cuter. <laughs> Oh my gosh, you're so right, right about me. Uh, Wait, what were we on? Dennis the Menace? Okay, we were talking about, so our the camera stopped. But basically, we took this Uber because, you know, the car broke down. And the guy's name was Dennis, and he was a menace. And his car smelled like a... He worked his way through a cheap pack of cigarettes, let's just say. It smelled like straight up tobacco in there. And he's making comments. He goes, where are you girls from? We completely lie about... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Our whole life. Also, we get in the car into Dennis the Menace's car, the silver Nissan. Nissan. He says, Where are you going? You can't. <laughs> I say to meet some friends at the mall because he was taking us to the mall and he looks over and there's these college kids walking by us like and he goes, 20 or something. ooh, there's some friends for you. <laughs> oh, maybe a little old. And I was like, this is going to be a long ride. He was playing we like all had a raging trap hit. music in the car. Yeah. <laughs> the car service guy was also really odd. <laughs> what was his name? Christopher? No, <laughs> Brian. Brian. Yeah. He lied about his name. No, Katie didn't know his name. He asked where we went to school. I full up lied about, full up, straight up lied about that too. Completely. It's 8.47 p.m. And we have school tomorrow. I need to go to bed. I have homework to finish. So we need to get home. Guys, I'm lactose intolerant. I've never had more cheese than I have had <laughs> in this day. Cheese on my taco. And this McFlurry. Cheese on my sandwich in the morning. <laughs> she paid 89 cents extra for that <laughs> cheese. In the cheese bowl of the pasta and now this McFlurry. If you're lactose intolerant, take it from me. Life's too short to not enjoy. Why did I turn country? Life's too Life's short, so short to not enjoy dairy. Eat that dairy. Get them cows in your stomach. <laughs> oh. oh, do not vomit in here. <laughs> we gotta get the hat out. <laughs> the cowboy hat. <laughs> the cartilage piercing. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Guys, my ears are infected. I'm so sorry. We all need to go nanny. <laughs> Is that what I mean? Go to sleep. We're it's going been... nanny. It's been a long day if you could not tell. It's been such an eventful day. We love you guys. I recommended all the food. Jesus loves you too. I'm mm. continuing this vlog into tomorrow, so I will see you then. Eat up. Good morning. I overslept. So I need to speed make this smoothie. Shut up. No. We're out of milk. Just kidding. No smoothie. Because we don't have any milk. I am gonna take this though. I mixed blackberries, bananas, and strawberries, and I have my floaties on, and I'm having this bar, and we're gonna be late. Okay, bye. I'm out of class. I did the worst job vlogging today, so sorry about that. My car is such a disaster, and it's beeping at me, and it's saying, I'm not even kidding, that my tire pressure is low. So. Uh, if something goes wrong then oh well i am gonna go home and make lunch and then i have a meeting at 12 30. it's 11 16 right now and i made a little schedule for the rest of the day because i want to stay on track and it is like a night and day difference when i make a schedule versus when i don't i'm gonna clean out the car and clean out my room because the car it was honestly a good thing that i didn't clean it out on sunday because it just would have gotten more dirty because we ate in here and everything yesterday it also rained last night again which was so weird and unexpected because I thought the room was supposed to be over, but I guess not. Anyway, after that, I want to clean my room a little bit, put my other little laundry in because I didn't do it yesterday, and then go to the gym, and I'm going to see the Jesus Revolution movie tonight with a bunch of my friends. So I'm really excited about that because I wanted to do it on Sunday, as you know, but or Saturday, but we're going to see it tonight. I'm excited. I'm starving, and I did not get enough sleep last night, but I'm ready to conquer the rest of this day. I'll see you guys when I get home. Just kidding. I just went into the grocery store because I needed to get this milk for my smoothie anyway, and my mom asked me if I could get ground turkey for her. Oh, I'm getting a find my iPhone alert. My mom said if I got this for her, she would bring me home lunch, so. She's bringing me a sandwich, which I'm, sandwich, which I'm really excited about, and I got chocolate chips. 
and she needed the ground turkey, so. Going home now. Okay, update, uh, it's 6.19 right now and I didn't get anything done because I accidentally took a three hour nap, but I'm uh, gonna eat dinner and then go to this movie. So that is not the vibe, but the meeting was great and I did a little bit of editing and then I got in bed and it was all downhill from there, so. Anyway, I'm wearing these new sweatpants that I got yesterday at Aritzia. They're very comfy and then the Ugg slippers, champion hoodie, Earrings are from Princess Polly, and this headband is three bucks from Target. I'll link it down below. And my mom made me dinner, I'm so happy. Pasta with vodka sauce and sweet potatoes and Brussels sprouts. And vodka shots. And vodka shots. Cheers. That's awful. He's joking, people. They know he's joking. And Matt's coming to pick me up in a little bit. I spilled chocolate all over myself because I ate M&Ms at the movie theater. Hi, vlog. And I'm back home. I'm gonna give you guys a full run on this. I'm second, about to ice my back. I'm about to make tea. We're thriving. This is crooked. I also shaved my upper lip. So it's all irritated right now. And, and I went to the doctor. I'm my hair. Sorry, keep going. And then I went to cheer. And now I'm home. And I also did some homework in between all that. Love it. I took a shower and then I sat in the bath. It felt great. And I don't know how it's already 11.42 p.m. Like The days are literally flying by Allie. We only have three months till graduate. Like, Alexa, how many days until June 3rd? June 3rd. I don't want to be an adult. I made a whole college list. Can you send it to me? I've watched so many TikToks about what you need for college. Well, I'm so glad to have your expertise. I know. The stain really killing the vibe. And the fridge is making weird noises. I'm gonna go upstairs and do my skincare. I just turned on my diffuser and I'm in my pajamas and ready for bed. I just need to do my skincare. That diffuser by the way is like the best purchase i ever made at tj maxx i use it every night and it matches the pillows that i have in my room speaking of tj maxx i want to go before i leave this weekend and see like tj maxx or nordstrom rack somewhere like that and see if i can find anything for my trip i don't have a lot of winter clothes or like layering stuff so i just won't look for basics anyway i'm gonna do my skincare and go to bed and that concludes this vlog yesterday i got this at sephora my friend yasmin who was you know who she is i don't know why i said my friend she loves glow recipe and this is her favorite thing so i'm really excited to try this it's like an overnight mask moisturizer thing and i should not have been using that facial shaver on my face before i cleaned it and took off my makeup and everything but i was in my mom's room and she had hers out and i was like oh my gosh let me just shave off my upper lip whatever anyway it's probably gonna be irritated but it is what it is and then at forever 21 i got this other top which i didn't even try on but i thought it would be really cute for wearing over bathing suits to the beach this summer which i'm also so excited about i feel like there's so much to soak up right now but also so much to look forward to there's smudges on the camera anyway thank you guys so much for watching this video i love you and i hope you have the best day week night afternoon whatever it is wherever you are i'm sending my love also the movie the movie was really good there were some things i didn't expect that i didn't love that there wasn't really closure at the end but i loved the message and it was really moving and really cool to see that in theaters we were all wearing our floaties from senior assassin so or for senior assassin because it's a new week so we have new targets and all that kind of stuff and i'm on a bounty because i didn't get my target last week so i need to figure that out too when i'm gonna go after the person i have assigned my room is disaster and i'm just gonna clean it tomorrow because i need to go to bed it's i don't even know it's almost midnight alexa what time is it it's 12 10 a.m psych it's already midnight so i'm gonna finish this skincare and then go to bed i'll be vlogging my day tomorrow on tiktok if you guys want to see that it'll probably be up it'll definitely be up by the time this video goes up and i hope you enjoyed it like i said i need to wrap this up love you guys see you in my next video Guys, comment down below if you freaking think McDonald's has not blended their McFlurries in 10 years. You average 2010. You advertise your prices on your buildings. I know it ain't minimum wage. It is not you're at getting all. A little, you're getting a little you're more the bucks than you get there. And I have not had it mixed since I was a crisp age of seven. It's been 11 years. Why are the tire places closed? Oh my How do you turn this off?